Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another app development tutorial series. So in this tutorial series, we are going to make this Android application so that you can improve your Android app development skills. So this tutorial series is for beginners, but if you are experienced developer and just want to practice around with this uh, app that I have built here, then you can uh, go ahead and watch this intro and develop it yourself. And don't forget to uh, share that application that you have developed in our Facebook group so that we can give the feedback to you. But for all those beginners out there who wants to learn Android app development and who have started learning Android app development, but uh, looking for project to practice their skills, then this project is perfect for you. And uh, let me tell you, this project is going to be developed in Kotlin. So we are not going to develop this in Java. And uh, if you want to, develop this application in java you can go ahead and do it by yourself if you want a tutorial on that then i have already made a tutorial on story app in my channel so you can go ahead and watch it from there but that app and this one is a little bit different there i have used some different techniques and here i have used some different layouts and so on so you can go ahead and compare it yourself and you can develop whichever app layout you like but uh, here is the final application that we'll be building by the end of this tutorial series. So you can see we have this list of stories. And if you click on any of this, you can uh, read the story. And we have this uh, feature image for the story. And uh, you can also scroll around with this text and so on. So I have used Picasso to load this image from the URL. And here I have used Recycler View and card view to design this image the way that it looks here and this is a simple uh, text view here okay and now we also have this uh, navigation draw and we have various uh, menus that is available in this and you can click on any of this menu and it's going to close the na uh, navigation draw and it's going to load the story and i have not implemented other stuff like stories categories contacts and rators but you can do that and uh, only thing I have implemented here is random story option here. So if I click on random story, it's going to load the random story and you can read that. Okay. And other thing you can just uh, implement by yourself or otherwise, if you want me to do a tutorial on that as well, I'll uh, do that after uh, the end of this tutorial series. Okay. So let's go ahead and start building this application. And one more thing I want to show you that, uh, let me close this. I'm going to open this. And you can see we also have this splash screen. So we'll go ahead and learn how to design that as well. Okay, so this is the final demo application. Now we'll go ahead and start developing this application in our Android Studio. I have my Android Studio open here and we'll go ahead and start creating new project. And uh, we'll select empty project. And here we'll give the name. You can give any application name you like. So I'm going to give the story app b2 okay so this is a version 2 so select the language as kotlin and select the minimum sdk as 25 and click on finish now this is going to start building our application for us and once that is done we'll go ahead and start developing our application so in the demo application you can see the features that we're going to implement in our application right so first thing is the navigation drawer and we have this uh, recycler view and we have loaded these images and so on. These resources are available in XML file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the XML resources first. Okay. So here I'm going to go here and create the XML value XML file. And here we'll create the three XML file for three separate stuff. Okay. So one XML file is going to contain all the image URL that we want to display here. And another one is called uh, story titles, which is going to contain all the uh, titles of the stories as an array. And another one is for the content of the story. Okay. So that's why we are going to need three separate XML file for our application. So this one is for story image. Okay. So I'm going to name this as story image and this resources is going to contain string array and let me give the name as story images right 
now this con this is going to contain all the images that we want to display in our recycler view here like this okay so here we're gonna add multiple items and the images will get from the uh, a free website called pixum.photos and we'll go to images directory here and from here you can select these random images so all you have to do is right click on this image and copy the image address and you can go back to android studio and paste it here like that so i'm going to uh, do that for a couple of times copy and paste so that was total nine items and now we have total two bell items so this was our story images now let's go ahead and create another resources for uh, xml value xml file and this is going to contain story title story title click on finish and this is going to contain the images uh, uh, this is going to contain the title of the stories so this is this is another string array and uh, i'll just copy and paste this story title from my uh, demo application just a moment later and i will provide that resources in the github so you can go ahead and download that from the github and you can copy the story title from there as well if you want to use the same story title and images that i'm using here so let me go ahead and create the last xml resource file that we need and that is for the story content and this is another string array now it's going to contain the content of the our story okay so i'm going to go ahead and copy paste the resources so this is the resources that I have used for the demo application, that final application that I built. So I'm just going to edit it and just uh, copy the items and I'm going to paste into the story title file. Okay. As I said, you can uh, get these resources from the GitHub. So don't forget to go there and copy the same thing. But if you want to use your own titles, you can do so. So for the content, I'm going to go to the content xml file here and i'm just going to copy and paste this stuff okay okay so this is our uh, content this is our story title and so on now let me go ahead and add the required dependencies here okay so here first things we need is kotlin extension so that we'll be able to uh, reference our xml resources directly without using find view by id okay so add extension and one more thing we need is picasso dependency so we'll get the picasso dependency from the picasso github so go to github.com slash square slash picasso and there scroll down to the download section and here you can copy this dependency and add it to the gradle file now we'll sync this project now we're good to go here now in the main activity we'll go ahead and implement the uh, navigation drawer first and then we'll implement the splash screen and we will implement the recycler view and so on so to implement the navigation draw uh, we need few files and i have made a separate tutorial on how to implement navigation drawer navigation drawer with fragments and so on so i'll link that videos in the description you can go ahead and watch that for the detailed explanation i'm not going to do much of the explanation here because i have already done so done that many times before before so that's why i'm not going to do it but uh, i'm just going to uh, show you all the steps that is required so you can follow along with me otherwise if you want to learn more you can go ahead and watch that those those videos that i talked about okay so there are a few things we need first thing is a layout file for our main activity so content main and this layout file is going to contain our toolbar so i'm gonna add the toolbar here and the recycler view for our story items I'm going to add that as well and make it as match parent so that it will occupy the only available space here and I will give the ID as a story list so that we'll be able to reference this later. Okay, so this is our content main and this activity main it's going to have the drawer layout so I'm going to delete that text view and I'm going to change this from constant layout to drawer layout. 
so that it will be able to display the draw navigation menu and we also need to give the id so that we'll be able to reference this later okay now here i'm going to include the content main that we have just created okay and now if i go to the design here you can see this main activity is having the same layout that is we have designed in the content main here okay and here we'll add the navigation view okay let me make it match parent now this navigation menu is going to need the uh, navigation menu items and the navigation header so we'll go ahead and create that first so first layout resource file is for navigation header okay and this navigation header is going to contain the uh, let me show you so it's going to contain this header with the image and the story app as the title name here so we need this image so we'll go ahead and download this image so let me get that image first so i think i have already downloaded that image so let me go to downloads okay so i'm gonna copy this image i'm gonna go to the drawable here and paste the image into the drawable folder not into drawable v4 okay now i will set the background so go to background select the image that we have just added okay and i'll give the fixed height of 200 dp okay let me make it as 250 okay this seems okay and now i'll add the text view here for the title of our app and let me give 36 make it bold and we'll select the text view i think it was a uh, cursive and let me make it as mass parent okay let me make make it as app content i'm gonna give the app name let me make it as white okay and in the center so this is our navigation header so i'm gonna go to this navigation view and add the header layout and from the layout we can add the navigation header and now you can see we have this okay so we'll create the menu go to resources create new layout resource file select the menu okay and now here we can add the items and so on but here you can see we have the section section here so this is the home section and this is the story app section which contains the only menu about our application that is random story stories and categories and this is more section and this contains the contact us and the rate us okay we'll come back and design this in the next part so this video is already too long and i don't want to bore you guys so i will see you in the next video where we will design this section wise navigation menu